is to grip it four paces a sprinter in our clinic. How many times have improved and that stuff? We also realize that besides the sport related issues, the muscle imbalances, the hamstring problems, the tightness, the whatever. We also realize that you would also find athletes, talking about generally young, supposed to be healthy people, with signs of non-communicable diseases, MCDs, high blood pressure, unexplained fast heart rates, um, overweight, um, athletes with very poor diets, and so on and poor health seeking behavior, right? Poor lifestyles um, outside of training. And we recognize that when we put all of that together, those things will obviously affect athlete performance. Um, they would affect people being able to make teams in the first place, and it would result in poor performance on the local and international stage. It was also apparent um, within this context, and also when um, I wear my other hat at work in the um, government healthcare system that a lot of people have actually withdrawn from competitive or organized sport because of untreated, unchecked injury. They say, so why did you stop? Oh, well, I hurt such and such. And it's still hurting, so I haven't been back since. It's five years, right? And then they're in my clinic, get me back, right? <laughs> And truth be told, that is sometimes a lack of having a system to deal with it. Therefore, we decided to try to have this, this, this clinic. You have mentioned that you're starting at a small stage, um, and Mr. Rowe will tell you that I, I deal with timelines in my management meeting, because there are always timelines in terms of that. Elite and emerging athletes, I want this program to go even further than that because we have that incubator and I'm dealing specifically now with athletics in Knapsack, as we would have seen. Our, on the 16 netball team is doing exceedingly well in the competition that they're participating in now. Hopefully tonight they will come back to the island with a clean slate. Unfortunately, tomorrow I have cabinet, so I can't meet them at the airport. But oftentimes, injury, as we know it, um, take up a lot of athletes. And the fact now that we're having this particular initiative being launched, it means that oftentimes now, as you would have mentioned, Doc, those injuries that would sideline them is no longer going to be the case. One of the things I want to say that is absolutely critical, and Madam President, I hope that we can fuse our um, thinking in relation to the national federations, because a lot now will depend on our coaches to ensure that our athletes across the board, um, whether it's athletics or the, the team sports, that they're aware of this, and that it's almost mandatory that um, our coaches pay attention to what is happening in relation to injuries, in relation to the fact that there's no facility that can sort the board in terms of this. Coaching is critical in the country, and I believe that the national federations should be mandated to ensure that all of their coaches are aware of these things that are being put in place. Now, one of the things that I have asked the Sports Council this year to do is to include funds for a sports psychologist to go along with everything that we're doing at the, the National Sports Council.